How are you? What up? My name's Allie. If you're new here, how are you? Nice to meet you. I don't know how long this message will be. I just felt inspired to pull over and do this. I'm feeling like the person um, that I'm being guided to talk to right now is feeling kind of blown over. Um, it's this energy of success without fully seeing the success. The uh, realized spirit is letting you know you do see it though. You see it all around you. You should be seeing it all around you. And they're asking for you to revisit your idea of success. What does it actually mean to you to be successful? Does success only mean that you get to see the fruits of your labor? Or does success maybe mean that you can see how courageous and strong and powerful you have been just to get here? Like just to get where you are right now. I feel like that really needs to be acknowledged and celebrated and taking a break. Oh my gosh, a ton of cards just fell down. Um, particularly divine guidance. Dragonflies could be significant to you. You could also be getting annoyed by regular flies. And I'm hearing the, this song from Neutral Milk Hotel, Holland, 1945, and the line says something like, how's, you know, how sad that they'd rather see their, fl their faces filled with flies. And uh, I feel like you're kind of a champion of that anti <laughs> How, how do I word this spirit? I feel like you're a champion for that idea of you don't want to see other people's faces filled with flies, however that looks like. If you are a champion for, if you notice me looking around a lot, it's because when I, I I'm a visual channeler, so pay no mind, because <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Um, Get me back on track, please, spirit. Yeah, you don't want to see, whatever that looks like for you, you don't want to see people's faces covered in flies. And so that means, do, are you a champion for um, improving the hunger issue? It's a, it's a deep issue in the world. Are you a champion for improving mental health? Are you a champion for recognizing your worthiness and helping other people recognize that they're worthy too? Are you a champion for deconstructing old narratives and belief systems that keep people stuck in the same cycle and keep them downtrodden and um, victims? <laughs> leadership, that's you. And you're already in this leadership role. That's very important. You know this. You already know this. And if you're... There may only be one or two of you watching this who are thinking, I'm so overwhelmed. I, how could I be a leader? And I think this message is really for you. Because you chose to incarnate, rebirth, like... You chose to not just incarnate, reincarnate into this life specifically so that you could literally transmute old, broken, painful, rotten, old, painful, rotten, belief systems and narratives that kept people just really, really stuck. Kept humanity from ascending, from growing. 
I'm having a lot of pressure here at this moment in my third eye. So there may be a part of you that is even subconsciously maybe suppressing some of your gifts, particularly your psychic gifts, because they feel overwhelming to you. I first am hearing that like that's okay and they need you to know that that's okay to feel that way, to feel overwhelmed. <laughs> Knowledge is power, that's just what I got. And so it's important for you to just acknowledge, be an acknowledgement and sit with that un, uncomfortable feeling because I don't even know that you've sat with it. You see it and you see that it's uncomfortable and you keep moving. And this is literally this time, not only this time in your specific life, but this time with the way the stars are mapped, 555 on the timer when I say that. This is the time to do this work and release it. We're ascending. We are ascending. What is this? Passion reversed. I think in your heart of hearts, connecting with your intuition is what your passion is. Your passion has maybe been stamped out and beat down and they really need you to know that this is the season to choose yourself. This is the season to be your own light bearer, your own way shower, because you're never alone. You are always with spirit. You've always had spirit. Look at this light being reflected on my throat chakra right now. <laughs> if this isn't enough of a confirmation for you that I'm speaking to you through your guides and the divine, and this is not an ego thing, please know that. This is more confirmation for you that what you're supposed to be doing by sharing your information, by being a way shower, by guiding other people, this is the work that you're supposed to be doing right now. 7-Eleven on the timer, and I do feel like that's significant for, for someone out here watching. I see a, I don't know if it's a monarch butterfly, but it's kind of like at this campfire orange leaning into brown and also deadhead moths I feel like there is uh, deadhead, deadhead moths let me tell you a little bit about what I know about <laughs> deadhead moths so they are uh, in my mind one of the ultimate symbols of death and rebirth and transformation butterflies on steroids but it's really it's really even more than that it is that idea of looking death in the face oof looking and death doesn't have to be actual like body death okay this could be the death of any kind but you're you're not just transmuting you're looking death in the face like do you know what a what just fell on the floor here? Equilibrium. I need to pull up uh, an intuition on the bottom of the deck. Look at the scarab beetle. I really feel called, though, right now to look up, if you can be patient with me, a deadhead moth symbolism. I want to give it to you as accurately as I can because it's significant for you. It means beginnings. A new phase of life is about to start, which might have somewhat dark beginnings, yet a bright future. Therefore, brace up for some exciting challenges ahead. And uh, I feel like these new beginnings are going to bring you a lot of equilibrium in your life in the past where you couldn't see any. Back to the leaning tree at the beginning of your reading that they were giving me. The significance of this leaning tree is I think you're in the midst of, the, of a storm. A significant storm. And you're in the center of this hurricane. Hurricane's what they're giving me. You're in the center. You're in the eye of the storm. You can see the storm going on around you. And yeah, it kind of has you like leaning, like what is happening? 
it's very overwhelming because you can see I'm getting that image <laughs> if you've ever seen the movie Twister I'm getting that image with the tornado when you look up it it's not real I would never want this to happen to anyone but like when the cow is spinning in the tornado oh of course somebody's gonna back up here right next to me with a septic tank service. So I'm probably gonna have to wrap up this reading. Maybe that's a sign. Maybe there is, like these are the last, I keep, this keeps coming up. These are the last tendrils of clearing that's happening right now, of stuff that's moving out, that's being cleared out, so we can really kind of <laughs> flush it down the toilet. <laughs> And in doing that, we're like, that's, that's what transmutation is. We are disposing of it and giving it back to source. Um, maybe someone is like having a problem with their septic tank. Maybe you're married to someone who works on septic tanks. That is very significant to our reading. Um, I do feel like I probably need to wrap it up though because I have a couple things I need to go do. I do want to let those of you know who are still here, I have some really exciting, like big, long pick a card readings coming up. Two of them planned over the next few weeks for sure. Um, so be on the lookout on the next super full moon. On August 30th, I have something really, really special that's gonna get to come out. Yeah, this is my cue to end the reading, 11.44 on the timer. Karmic justice, more beetle energy, scare of beetles. That is, it's the same message, death and rebirth, but it's big. It's big and it's exciting new beginning. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap this up here. I look forward to connecting with you soon. I'm sending you so, so, so much love. And please take excellent care of yourself in the days ahead. I'll see you soon.